Hall of Fame boxing promoter Bob Arum has said that his fight Arta Baturbia will probably not get the Dimitri Bivol fight because he will not be pursuing it. Now I don't know if this is a conversation that he's had with Team uh, Baturbiev and they've come to this conclusion or if he's just talking off his own back and he's going over for his fighter's head because I'm pretty certain this fighter would want the undisputed fight. But for the time being Bob Arum is mirroring Mauricio Suleiman's um, decision to not basically sanction his fighters to fight against Russian fighters. What he's basically saying is there's a conflict going on in that part of the world with, with Russia and Ukraine obviously you'll know about it and he doesn't think it's right they're invading a sovereign country blah 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 and he doesn't want to basically promote any Russian fighters and then he basically went on to say that he acknowledges that Baturbiev is a Russian citizen to an extent but he's had a Canadian visa for the last 14 years and not only that but his country Chechnya or where he's from is basically a victim of Russia that's what he was saying and that's why it's not that big of a deal because he understands I don't even know to be fair I don't want to get into it it is what it is I don't necessarily think that that's his genuine reasoning for not wanting to make that fight because if you guys remember about I think it was just before the conflict about a couple of years ago he was saying that he's not going to make the uh, undisputed fight because he's not going to let his fighter go and fight on an app or something like that or a sort of streaming service there was something about him not letting his fighter go fight for the zone or whatever and the only way that fight would get made would be if they were to make it on ESPN so they were open to having it but not open to having it on the zone and matchroom a couple of years ago before the conflict but now there's a conflict it's like oh he doesn't want to have it at all because he's got principles and he doesn't believe that Russia are doing the right thing by invading obviously a lot of people don't believe that Russia are doing the right thing by invading and if I thought Bob Aaron was sincere with his reasoning I would actually respect it I know it affects the boxing or whatever but me as a person right if I got an issue with a company I stop trading with that company if no if I don't like Coca-Cola for something they're doing all I can do is individual is stop giving them my money or stop doing business with them so if Bob Arum has genuinely come to that conclusion that look I can't stop this conflict I got an issue with this conflict but all I can do is protest by not fighting or sanctioning Russian fighters to fight with my guys or whatever then I can kind of stand by that understand it but at the same time it's affecting the sport and it's not really right but I do respect someone who stands by their principles the only problem is I don't believe this has got anything to do with principles at all I think this is purely a financial thing Arta Baturbia versus Dimitri Birol is not a big fight and now they've got this thing where they don't want to put it on the app so if they make the fight they have to pay for it ESPN and show oh no, sorry not Showtime ESPN have to pay for it and Top Rank have to pay for it and they obviously don't want to do that because there's no money there. The zone and that have got people who are willing to put money up for fights that are worthless. And this would be one of them fights that I'm sure the zone would put money up for. So they don't want to lose the fight to the zone because they'll lose face and they'll look bad. So this Russia thing, this WBC thing is the perfect scapegoat in my opinion for him to say right on principle we're not going to make this fight because X, Y, Z. But in my opinion the real reason is is because they don't want anything to do with putting the event on because it's not going to be a money spinner they're going to lose money on it and why would they want to do that i mean you guys can believe the whole war story and this that and the other but as top rank as a company if they set that precedent right then moving forward in the future there would be another conflict with someone else and people are going to call them up on it it doesn't really make sense for them to take this uh approach in my opinion but they're doing it in my opinion because it just it's an easy way out to not have to foot the bill for that fight and not lose face at the same time now no one's really going to slam it in their face no one's going to go to them and say how dare you not let Dimitri Bivol fight because if people are sympathetic towards the conflict and the situation out there so people are going to even though they might not agree with it no one's going to slam him in his face for not trying to push that fight if you know what I'm saying so yeah it's a bit of a shit show I mean the other day there was that news that basically Canelo Alvarez isn't really serious about the Bivol fight because they basically offered him the same deal they did first time round they basically rejected that and said that we want the Baturbia fight. WBC said you can't have the Baturbia fight for Undisputed. Now Top Rank saying you can't have the undis uh, Baturbia fight at all. And the thing is, like, whenever you see Dimitri Bivol, he comes across as like a nice guy. He comes across for a humble, like, decent person. And that like, you don't really think he should be deserving this sort of treatment. But it's, I suppose it's bigger than him. It's bigger than us. But it doesn't really seem right. But then the sport has made him a multi-millionaire. If he doesn't get Undisputed, so be it. He's still, you know, he can cry himself to sleep in his silk uh, pajamas or whatever. You know, he's, he's made his money, man. He can, he can rest easy so that's what i got for this one guys just to confirm undisputed looks to have been blocked again by bob aram he's basically doubled down on what mauricio suleiman said and he's basically not going to make that fight he's not willing to make that fight while the conflict's going on essentially they're sanctioning all russian fighters and dimitri Biro happens to be a russian fighter it's not ideal but i guess it is what it is like comment share subscribe or don't and i'll catch you on the next one love